Hey everybody, how's it going? So one of the most shocking parts of Avengers Endgame was Thor. And it wasn't really because Thor is more powerful in this movie, it wasn't because Thor eventually was able to wield Mjolnir and Stormbreaker, which was a pretty cool moment. Unfortunately, he wasn't really that effective with both from what we could tell, but still really awesome moment where he got to suit up again and you know he had the braided beard and all that stuff, it was fantastic. But that wasn't really what surprised most people, what surprised them was just what happened to Thor physically? You know, he eventually got a dad bod to say the least, you know, looking like Volstagg a little bit. And the Russo brothers decided to, you know, in an interview, kind of shed more light, give more details on why they decided to go with this Thor and also what led to Thor as a character going down this route. Because when you consider it, you know, he has lost a lot in his life. His mother, his father had to kill his sister, believes his brother's dead lost his home basically he's the king of a pile of dirt more or less um obviously there's actual as guardians left but i mean it's not nearly the same it's you know prestige and nearly the same i guess level of greatness that it was even 10 years ago which is probably for someone like thor really bittersweet in a lot of ways but as russo's put it he's broken and that's kind of who he is moving forward how is everyone processing their grief after the snap we wanted them to all process it in very different ways. And with Thor, he's an exceedingly tragic character who was built from the time he was a boy to be a king. What is the distance that a character like that can travel? A god. Somebody especially who looks like Chris Hemsworth. Even though there's a lot of fun to be had in this movie with his physical condition, it's not a gag. It's a manifestation of where he is on a character level and we think it's one of the most relatable aspects of him. And as they put it, it's a very common sort of response to depression and pain. What would happen if that character became extremely angry and started to punish himself and didn't care anymore? What would happen to him? He's an alcoholic now, he doesn't care about anything, he doesn't care about himself. That's the reason why we didn't end up turning him back. It's an experience that stays with him. He may have made some repair in this movie and made progress, but that experience that brought him to that physical condition is still with him. It's a longer road beyond that. We don't know what that road beyond that is though for him. So that comes from primarily Joe Russo, Anthony Russo chimes in, you know, here and there. They kind of all talk in unison though, as they've done interviews jointly, basically forever, it seems like, with regards to their MCU projects. Now, the one thing that's interesting to me is how this kind of could affect Thor going forward, because we saw with these films, if he ends up being in James Gunn's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, which currently it kind of looks like he might be, but obviously James Gunn. Maybe he didn't originally envision Thor to be in the film, or maybe it's going to be an early gag in the film where they kind of get rid of Thor and they you know, do their own thing as the Guardians. So definitely it'd be interesting to see during that future appearance, even for a future Thor 4, which we know was pitched by what Tessa Thompson said, will Thor carry that weight with him going forward or will he just be normal Chris Hemsworth again in the next film? It definitely would be interesting to see Thor carry this weight, carry this guilt, and maybe the next film is him really coming to terms and forgiving himself. Because it definitely sounds like it's a lot of self-punishment Thor's doing. And I definitely think it'd be pretty cool to get a character moment with Thor with throughout his film. Because a lot of his films have tackled different things, but they haven't really tackled too much, I guess you could say, at this point, his self-doubts, his own self-punishment. Because he does it a lot. You know, he definitely gets in his head a lot. He definitely punishes himself more than others really punish him, not from a physical standpoint, but more from an emotional, mental standpoint. So definitely be really cool to see that character really deal with that and become stronger, not physically, not from like a I shoot lightning kind of standpoint, but become stronger from an internal standpoint. And maybe from there, he'll, he can finally be a legit ruler of Asgard, because maybe that was actually the one thing missing the whole time, that internal strength, which seemingly Odin had a lot of outside of Thor to Dark World. Accomplish your thoughts. What do you guys think about this? Do you think Thor will carry this with him going forward? We've seen a lot of times with James Gunn in Guardians of the Galaxy franchise, he's not afraid to make certain changes to major characters and let that stay put. Perfect example being Groot. A lot of people thought that in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Groot would be an adult again, and he wasn't. He was a teenager in that movie, and he was a teenager again during the Avengers films. But comment below your thoughts. What do you guys think? And we'll see you guys later.